Hi crocheters of the world! In this tutorial it's only a very very quick project. It's an idea that um, came into my mind and I just wanted to try it because I think it's so easy to work, so easy to, to transform actually. So from a triangular scarf, a scarf, sorry, shawl, uh, I choose this one that I worked with the Peruvian stitch or um, broomstick lace without the broomstick, my uh, way of working broomstick lace. I have an entire playlist actually of how to work the broomstick lace without the uh, broomstick and some projects. And one of these projects is this one, okay? So it's the shawl. But of course you can choose any kind of shawl or of uh, triangular shawl that you have that you um, already worked that you already crocheted okay this is the one that i choose so how to transform a triangular shawl in a lovely poncho cape so i will put it here and we will begin to count on one side and on the other side from the midline of the shawl where we actually increase okay so this is my midline and I will count the same number of um, rows okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine I know that I need nine just want to take my clips clips or pins you can use so I will just clip it here so I uh, counted nine on one side, I will count nine on the other side and then I will clip it together. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. So now I, all that I want to do is to clip it together here. Okay, now what is important here of course is that oh, the head must pass so <laughs> we just want to be sure that uh, it's large enough but not very large so large enough that the head can pass easily okay so circumference of the head a little bit some centimeter more for ease okay so this is done the circumference uh, is done and now I will just continue and go counting uh, four or five rows one two uh, three four five okay five rows each five rows i will clip one two three four five and i put the clip clip or pin so okay i clip and now again one two three four five and again on the other side one two three four five and clip clip or pin And why? Because, let me just finish, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it can be enough, I have just a little bit here left. Okay, so I flip it all and why I did this? Because it's here that I want to sew. Now I will sew the two parts together, the front sides, let's say, how can I say, the two uh, front sides together. And this is the first step toward our, to transform, so of the transformation, magic transformation from the shawl to look at this. So, so fancy and lovely uh, cape, poncho cape. Now I will sew here on uh, the wrong side obvious i will sew with the same yarn now i have the same yarn same yarn that i worked my shawl i'm fortunate because i have some of it but if you don't have exactly the same yarn this is a color changing yarn so if you work your shawl with the color changing it's really easy pick up just one color of all that you have here and work the coal and uh, of course so here so it's really really easy even if you don't have exactly the same uh, yarn uh, to use for okay so now let me just sew this part and i will be back 
and I will show you how to work the cowl. And here it is. This is our poncho. It's so so, so cute, easy, yeah. isn't it? I already I don't need you so please. Okay, so I already sew it here, front side, as you can see. I just need to oh, just iron it a little bit, but this is it. I have my poncho. Look at it. Isn't it just lovely? And I can just leave it as it is, but I just want to put it in a nice um, neck warmer, let's say, so a nice curl, okay? And I will put it open. Now for this, I will show you how to work it. It's so easy. And isn't it just lovely? I am so happy because I have lots of shorts, of triangular shorts, and of course some of them are, are really, really um, lovely as they are, and I will let them as they are as shorts, but some of them are just perfect to uh, be transformed in a lovely, lovely uh, cape shawl, shawl cape or poncho, sorry, poncho cape. Okay, so hope you enjoy. Uh, let me show you. So let's work actually the curl and we are ready with our project. So let's see how to work the uh, neck all around. So if you want to work it uh, in round, you will begin from the here. Okay. So from the back side, I will want to work it open. So I will begin from here into the first single crochet because we have you we have you know the row of single crochet and the row of uh, the broomstick lace chain two won't count as a stitch and first double crochet into the same stitch now around the broomstick actually i will work one two three and four okay so four double crochet and then I will skip into the next single crochet row and work one double crochet and then into the next broomstick lace row. You know we have the row when we work the loops, we pull up loops and the row where we work the single crochets. So four plus one, it's my magic number. And I will just continue on like this all around for this row. Four, like this. And um, I will finish with a single crochet here. Into the single crochet here. Okay. And this is the single crochet row. Four plus one. Um, if you work in rows, so you begin from the um, front side and you want to work uh, open, then you must have a uh, odd number of stitches. I have 83 all around. And uh, if you work in round and you begin on the back side in the middle so actually here in the middle I put three as you can see uh, in the middle then you uh, have to work a even number of stitches now we will begin by working chain two always chain two now I have to turn if you work in round you don't have to turn and I will work one front, one back, which means one uh, front side, front post, sorry, one from front post, double crochet, and one back post, double crochet, one front post, and one back post, okay, and I will go on like this to the end. one front post, one back post, all around, like this. So I finished the round, the row, sorry, with a front post and I decided that the first and the last stitch will be work as a normal double crochet and 
So chain two to begin and into the double crochet, work it double, double crochet, it's easier. And now what you see as a front post, you will work as a front post. And what you see as a back post, you will work as a back post. So front post, yarn over, insert hook around the hook from right to left on the back side and go out on the front side. Uh, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two and pull through two. Now, uh, for the front, uh, for the back, yarn over from the back to the uh, front around the stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop and work the stitch. And from the front to the back. And when we have back post, from the back to the front. Okay, and this is how we work them. And we will work exactly as we worked here uh, for the um, length that we want to be our curl. So I have it. My poncho is ready. And as you can see, uh, the neck um, it's mine. It's open. You can wear it. You can uh, work it crochet in round if you want it. But I just like it exactly as it is because I can put it, uh, fold it as you can see it or I can just wear it um, in um, its total length if I want to. So, as you can see, this is the way, a way, a very, very easy way to transform a triangular shawl in a so lovely poncho. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, hope you enjoyed this mine idea. And don't forget to subscribe if you like my tutorial so you won't miss another one tutorial of mine of on crochet, Tunisian crochet and knitting for crocheters. So if you want to um, share with me uh, a project that you made following one of my tutorials, I am so very happy to see them and you can just send me a photo on a private message on my Facebook page. Don't forget to like it. And or you can just tag me on Instagram or you can uh, subscribe to my group on Facebook. You have the link below this tutorial. So see you at the next tutorial. Bye bye.